So a lot of people are familiar with the formula for the area of a circle. And here I want to give a quick conceptual proof of why it is pi r square. And um, so we're, we're looking at the circle, and I've divided it into lots of these slices. And they're all identical, and there are n slices. And where n is a really large number. And when that's the case, if I look at each slice, uh, for example, if we look at this, this slice here, it's almost like a triangle. Imagine if you had lots of them. Of course, here, they're pretty large. And each of these triangles, if I were to find its height, it's almost the same as the radius. And we have a slight difference here, which you can imagine as I slice them into lots of thin such uh, pieces that the radius and the height of that triangle would almost be the same. And I'm going to call this curved segment its length is, say, b. So here the area of one triangle would be radius, height, which is height, height times the base, over 2. And the reason I can use the curved portion the same as the base, because, again, it's really thin sliver so that they're almost identical. Right? And that's the area of one triangle or one sector. Now, area of the entire circle would be n times that n r b over 2. And I can rewrite this r times n b over 2. Now what is n b if you had to visualize, right? This is one slice n b, that would be 2 b, 3 b. If you go around the entire circle, n b is the same as the circumference. Circumference of the circle. Especially as I make these slices, the number of these slices is really large. You know, 100,000, a million, 10 million. And so I can replace in that limit that n is a really large number. This would become exactly equal to radius times 2 pi r. The circumference is 2 pi r over 2. And then here the 2 drops out, and I have 2 r's, and this becomes pi r squared. So this is a, a sort of a conceptual proof for why the area of a circle is pi r squared. So that completes this video.